Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some useful tips for you. One will be particularly helpful around Christmas time. And I'm gonna be sharing with you my eBay cleaning toolkit, something that every reseller should have. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Cindy from Krause House Sift and Thrift. I'm a reseller of 20 years. I sell mostly on eBay, but I also sell on Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. Thank you for watching. If you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you. If you're new, thank you. I appreciate you as well. So what I do on this channel is I tell you what I buy and sell for a profit so you can go out there and get these things for yourself. My husband and I go to thrift stores, yard sales, mostly. Sometimes we um, go to other stores. Don't really do retail arbitrage. We're all about finding things that hidden treasure at thrift stores and yard sales. It's just so much fun. The thrill of the hunt. Let's it. <laughs> but today I want to share with you a couple of tips. One of them is you know, I already started doing this, started thinking about Christmas. I know it's still October and I usually don't do that. But if you have an eBay or reseller inventory, you've got a built-in gift system. Um, I've given gifts over the last several Christmases to my family, just very useful, practical, or fun items that they either want or need. And these are items that are either new or gently used, and they've really loved it. I, of course, you know, I buy new stuff off of Amazon to give to them as well. But this year, I've already started looking for gifts for my mom and my sister and my aunt, you know, like purses and shoes and clothes. The women in my family are so easy. It's the men that are hard. <laughs> I can't even find, I can't always find stuff in my inventory for the guys so a lot of times i just have to buy new stuff but i'm hoping i can this year i try and think of stuff that's cool and fun and that they really need and they really like and i used to make my gifts i had a sewing machine and one year i made jean purses for all the women in the family and they loved it they still use them just took a i found the um, instructions online And I got a pair of a bunch of pairs of old jeans. I cut them up and then I sewed them and would put the straps on them. And they were really fun because you use the back of the jeans. And a lot of the time those are embellished. So it was really fun. And the, they just love them. And I, that makes me feel so good. But my sewing machine's in storage. And so I just don't use it now. I mostly get things out of my inventory. So I've already started getting things out of my inventory to send. I know I never in this early, I'm always like the last minute shopper, but you know, if, uh, if you haven't heard, there is a supply chain issue and some, uh, a lot of merchandisers or retailers are not going to be getting their items to sell for Christmas. There's just a backlog, you know, of shipments and they're more expensive too. So that's good for us resellers, you guys. You need to be listing toys and games and you know things that people could give as gifts. I know John and I are gonna be looking when we go thrifting, we're gonna hit that toy section, you know, hit up the plush and like I said, anything you know families can do together or that parents could give to their kids or wives can give to their husbands or vice versa, you know, be out there looking. This is a very important time for us. So I have 750 items in my inventory. Well, not in, well, yes, it's in my inventory, but they're listed on eBay.
and I built that up over the past several months. Remember, I used to have three or four hundred, and now I'm seven fifty, and um, I'm aspiring to a thousand. So I still got a lot of uh, big death piles. But yesterday, I spent a couple, two or three hours organizing, so it's really not that bad now. It's very manageable. I still got quite a bit of profit. I'm going to call them profit files, not death files. Uh, and I'm going to be working on that in the next several days. Uh, and I know I'll be going thrifting. Today is a good day because my husband got paid. I'm going to twin to take my son, Jeremiah, to the doctor. And then I'm going to go thrifting. Yay! That's always a fun day for me. <laughs> well, who doesn't love thrifting? It's so much fun. So, anyway, I'm not selling any more Halloween things. But I have sold several things. I sold that hat with the skeleton on it. I sold two costumes. I haven't sold everything yet, but I sold a couple of decorations. So that's good. And if, you know, if they don't sell this Halloween, they'll sell next year. So anyway, I wanted to share with you today, my tools and my trades, so to speak, my eBay reseller tools. And let me show you guys what they are. First of all, I wanted to show you what I got from like a thrift store a couple of years ago. It's like a, you know, a, a carry-all caddy thing. And you could use anything. You could get get it from the thrift store. I'm sorry, just dropped. Um, get like a plastic thing from the thrift store. It doesn't matter. I just really like this. I think it was intended for like sewing or crafting. But that's okay. This works. So, I want to show you. You should have some kind of washcloth. Um, this is to um, like shine up silver silver cloth and what goes with this is this it's goof off which is the same as goo gone it's a chemical that removes tags mostly i think that's what i mostly use it for you can remove other things labels i guess um but it's really great and i just spray it on i also use this yeah spray it on this and rub it and comes out the best material to use them on is glass because you're not going to damage the glass. You have to be very careful with plastic and like metal because you don't want to take off the finish. And I've done that before and I've, I've cleaned like a figurine and I took off the paint. Oh gosh, that was not good. So, and that was an item I sold. It's like, and then I had to tell the buyer, so sorry, I took out the paint when I was trying to clean it up. So you got to be so careful. It is a chemical. It's great for taking off tags, but like I said, it'll take off the finish. So you gotta be very, very careful. So this is my Goo Gone. It's almost gone. I actually spilled it. <laughs> That's why my Goo Gone is almost gone. Uh, this is just as good as the Goof Off. So either one of these will work. And then I also have this. It's lighter fluid. I rarely use this. Um, I think it would it work great for things that are like really stubborn. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to get a tag off with the goof off or the goo gone, but this is really strong. So I, I rarely use this, but you know, it's always good to keep it as a backup. You never know. You might have a really stubborn tag or label or something that you need to get off those are not working for. So you could use that. And then the other thing you could also use is nail polish remover, which is 100% acetone. It It's not just for removing nail polish. You could also remove na uh, labels. I was going to say nables. Yeah. Again, my tongue getting ahead of my brain. <laughs> so labels or tags um, or whatever. So these all four of those things work great. And Q-tips. They work with any of these products. If maybe you just have a small stain or it's in a corner, you just put it on the Q-tip and just, it comes right off. It's awesome. So this, uh, it's glass surface cleaner, Windex, basically. You're gonna want this. The paper towels are over there. And I use this constantly, mostly for picture frames that have smudges on them, but you know, I, that's what I usually use this for, but I use my paper towels for everything. I mean, I use them when I use these products and then I just need to wipe it down. Or if I get something wet, 
uh, you know, I just wipe it down. Oh, another thing I don't have over here, it's over by my desk. It's, um, I, I've gotten them at Walmart and Dollar Tree. They're just remover wipes. And, you know, you can use them on your hands or whatever, but I use them all the time. Like if I, I got something at a thrift store or a yard sale and it's dusty, I just use that. I wipe it off and then I take the paper towel and dry it off and I'm good. Now, if it's glass, most of the time I take it downstairs and wash it in the sink and just do a good wash. But if it's just got a couple, you know, dust, dirt, slight stains on it, you could just take those wipes and clean up with the paper towel and you're good. So I put these back. All right, I don't use these very often. Safety pens. I used to use them uh, for my clothes because I like taking pictures. We got like one arm here and one down. I mean, arm sleeve. You know, it goes like this. So you could, so the person could see the sleeve. And I would take um, the safety pin and just pin it under the clothes. But you know, it's kind of a pain. You got to make sure it doesn't show, and then you got to pin it, unpin it. So what I use instead is I bought these clamps, I think, at Dollar Tree. I just clamp underneath, and you can't really see it. And it's so easy, just clamp it and unclamp it, and you're done. So I, I rarely use the safety pins. All right, lint removers, both of these. So this is like a dog brush. I don't use this very often. Um, this would be good, like, if... Maybe you have a lot of lint on an item and this is just not doing the job. You could just really do it. But I honestly rarely use this. So this is the way to go. They sell them at Dollar Tree and Walmart. And then you just peel off the layer and it lasts a long time. All right. This protective film. No, film protector or protective wrap. I got this at, uh, I believe I got this at Dollar Tree. I've not used it. But a couple of ways you could use it is Julian, the Build and Thrift, Bearded Thrift Machine, has a YouTube channel. And he uses this to wrap up his golf clubs when he's selling like a bundle of golf clubs. He wraps them up together and then puts them in the box. And you could do that with anything. You can wrap a picture or anything you're trying to keep together when you ship. I, I honestly forget about this most of the time, so I haven't used it. But... I want to start using this. This is a really good thing to have. Okay. So this is a stainless steel cleaner. I bought this to use because I got a couple of brass items. I know it's a stainless steel, but it works on brass. And they were really, um, well, I had silver and brass, and they were really aged. You know how that looks. They just look, they're not polished. They look just like really dirty. So this works pretty good. I wouldn't say it works as good as a silver cleaner, which is like Wright's silver cleaner, the kind you put gloves on and you just, you wipe all over it and you scrub it. Those, that works excellent. It, but it works pretty good. I've cleaned a couple of things with that. Okay, this is called a scuff cover, but it's shoe polish, it's white. I got this free at that yard sale we went to the other day and I gotta have. So I have white, but I recommend you get black too. Use this on shoes. I just use these. On these ladies golf shoes I just got last weekend while yard sailing and took out the scuffs really well. You could do that or you could use Folex, which I don't have with me, but you guys know I love Folex. It's my favorite stain remover. It works on almost everything. It's amazing. It's gotten like 99% of the stains out of clothes I've ever had. Every blue moon I'll find one that doesn't come out, but that's very rare. Love that stuff. I use it for everything. I keep a little spray. It's over there. That's why I can't show you. Uh, I keep a little spray ball here, and then I keep the big bottle downstairs, but I use it constantly. I highly recommend Folex, F-O-L-E-X. It's about $15 in the store on Amazon, give or take. All right, fabric glue. I just bought this. I had gotten a shirt to sell on eBay, actually listed, and then I discovered there was a, a hole in it. Big tip, when you're looking for clothes, look for holes, inspect it super carefully because I miss things sometimes. I buy it, oh, I look it over, it looks good, but you gotta really look at the seams, look at the back, look at by the neck, uh, by the cuffs. You just gotta really inspect them well. And it was only, I think it was $3 and that's not bad, but uh, I ended up, I thought I would use this. I usually sew, I usually hand sew little holes 
because it's better to sew an item and mend it and sell it that way than to sell it with a defect, you know, and then that way the, the seller has to, I mean, the seller, the buyer has to mend that item. And I'm sure like, I get it. They want to have it all fixed to begin with, just like I would. So anyway, I used this on that uh, shirt, but it didn't work. It, this does use on, uh, work on a lot of things, but it didn't work. So I'm redonating that shirt. All right. Not that one. Not that one. Here we go. So this is a wrinkle releaser. I just got this free at that yard sale. I believe you get this on Amazon. Really, really great. I'll give you an example. This was super wrinkled. And look at it now. No, of course not all the wrinkles are out, but I wanted the majority of them out. Looks beautiful. This is a Chico's top. I'm gonna list and sell soon, hopefully. And um, isn't that beautiful? It's a really pretty top. It's too big on me. So a uh, Chico's is a very good selling brand if you didn't know. This is another top. I think I showed this to you guys. I'm going to list this today. I got to get this listed because Halloween is. Actually, I forgot about it. I got to get that listed today. Halloween's almost here. It's a week away. All right. Another thing I use is Febreze. I use this if I'm not going to wash the item, but I do highly recommend you wash your clothing you get from thrift stores or yard sales. It's just good, especially from thrift stores because there's all kinds of germs and stuff on them so definitely uh wash them now if it has tags on it i don't wash it suzanne uh Re wells recommends that you get one of those um tag guns and you cut off the tag and you wash it and dry it then you use the tag gun to re um reinstate or what do you want uh the, to put the tag back on the garment uh, i've not done that yet i have used this i've used this on like pillows or stuff that really can't be washed because of the fabric or, you know, anyway, it's, it's just, I haven't used it in a while because I've been um, washing most of my items, but it's just a light fabric, quick dry mist, lightly scented odor eliminator. Oh, and it's great if something has an odor. Like I got oh this, God, it was like uh, a vintage case, like by Case Logic, and those sell well, by the way. And it had a smoke smell on it, so I sprayed the heck out of it. And I got it, I wouldn't, I'd say 80% out. And the guy never complained, he was fine with it. So, you know, you just let your buyers know. And that works great. So I think that is it, you guys know. I got more, some, some things on the side. So black markers, this is good if you have something that has a chip in it and like, let's say it's black and has a chip in it. And all you have to do is just kind of, you know, color it in and make it black again. Or if that was a blue item or whatever color it is, um, that is a really good trick. It doesn't always cover it completely. It depends what the item is, uh, but it looks really good. And so if you haven't done that, markers are great. This is what I used to use when I didn't have a Scotty peeler, which I recommend you get to remove tags. But this works great if you don't want to get one. This was an expired debit card I had. And you just wet the tag, you know, tags from the store, Goodwill, and wherever you get it, they always put their own tags on it. Just wet it slightly. You don't want to like drench it um, and then scrape it up. You know, it takes just a few seconds of work, um, but those work great. Okay, tied to go pins. These are awesome. I don't use them for an item with a big stain, but if it has a small stain, just kind of, you know, use it and it, it works. I won't say it works 100% of the time, but most of the time, yes, it's a good thing to have. All right, another tip for you. Nail polish, not just red. You get the color to match. John and I bought at a yard sale for $5, this really beautiful paper mache Mexican girl doll statue. It was made out of paper mache, but she had several white chips on her. So I just went to Dollar Tree, bought some red nail polish, and I just, you know, went around where all the chips were and you couldn't even see them. It was amazing. So I also had a lamp. Well, I'm still trying to sell it. It has chips on it. So when it's teal, so when I got teal nail polish and I 
marked on the lamp all the spots so it looks great it matches now and i decided to sell the nail polish with the lamp but the lamp hasn't sold yet so uh there you go i think that is it so this is it you guys i think every reseller needs this or something similar if you want to see another person's list go to suzanne a wells uh youtube channel and look for, uh, I think she, I don't remember what she called it. It was like, uh, I don't know, eBay toolkit or something. I don't know what she called it, but she had a list of items she recommends every reseller get to clean the items before they sell them. And another thing I recommend you get, I don't have that here. It's over by my desk. Uh, you could get these bread bags at Walmart. I don't, I don't think they call them bread bags everywhere, but they're what they are is they are, they're like in the foil and plastic wrap section. And oh, they're just these big loose bags and they're great for clothing, for stuffed animals, shoes, and you could either twist tie them or I staple mine. I have these fun, colorful staples I use and that's what I use to seal them up. I also have bought the shirt uh, poly bags. I think that's what they're called. They're for shirts mostly. Uh, and from, uh, Amazon. And I use that as well. And they're nice. They're like really kind of a stiff plastic and they have their own peel and stick, uh, seal. So you could just seal up the items. So I use both of those. Highly re recommend that. You know, if you sell shoes or clothes or like i said stuffed animals or something like that something that needs protected i fully recommend that you yeah put it in the plastic then put it in the poly bag or the box um you don't have to do that but i just started doing it you know i think it's kind of a nice touch that the you know buyer will get that and go hey they really tried to protect my item and sometimes things get rained on and maybe that poly bag won't protect it fully so something i just started doing and i highly recommend so that are is my tips for today i hope you guys are doing well i hope you're getting killer sales i've been doing really well until the last couple of days kind of slowed down a little bit but I, I've been listing constantly, I mean, consistently every day. So I know my sellers are just going to get right back up there. It's a little discouraging, you know, when they get slow. But every time I say they're slow, they I start getting the cha-chings again. So it's okay. It's, it's a marathon, not a sprint, uh, eBay. So just have to have patience and have a good attitude. You guys keep smiling. Just life is good. You know, just have a good attitude about things and you'll do great. And if you want to leave a comment or you have a question or you want to like or subscribe to my channel, I would so appreciate it. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.